What is square root of x square? That is square root of x square. What is that? Let me ask you this question in some other way. That is explain if the following statement is true or false. Square root of x square equals to x. Is it true or false? If it is not true, then what is square root of x square? Think about it. And here is how we can analyze it. Let me make a table. And in this table, I will plug in some values for x and then find what is square root of x square. And we will see if they are same things or not, right? So let me make three columns here. I'll tell you why. So what we will do here is, let's say we put x as 0. So what is 0 square square root? Of course it is 0, right? It's same as x, correct? Now, if I put 1 here, then what is square root of 1 square? It is 1 square is 1 and square root is 1. We get the same answer as x, correct? How about 2? Square root of 2 square is 4 and square root of 4 is 2. That is perfect. Well, let's take a big number and let's say 100. Now, 100 square. So, 100 square means 100, 100. So, square root will be 100, correct. So, we get almost the same answer all the time. Now, think about it like this. So, what we are getting here in all these cases is that this column, the square root column matches. Do you see that? This column of x matches the result, right? So, you can say that for all these values, what we have is like square root of x squared is same as x, which we expected, correct? Now, let me take some other example and let's take example like minus 1. Now, minus 1, let's do square of minus 1. Now, if I do square of minus 1, what do I get? I get 1 and the square root of minus 1 is actually 1. Now, now how is it? Now, this is not the same. Do you see that? Well, so, so it is not always same. Let me try few more values. I ran out of space here. So, I'll make a column here. And what you can do is, I'm not doing a magic. I'm just plugging in some numbers and trying to figure out what should it be, right? So, what is this equal to? This is what we're trying to figure out. So, let me put a negative number now because one didn't work. If I put x as negative 2, then I have square root of negative 2 square, right? Now, negative 2 square is 4 and uh, it returns me a value 2. I do not get minus 2, but I'm getting 2. How about minus 10? So, if I do minus 10 square, I get 100 and square root of 100 will be 10. So, again, what I get here is not x. So, in these cases, what is happening in these cases? In these cases, if I'm putting in a negative value, what I get is actually a positive value. So, I don't really get the same value. Do you see that? This is not the same. It is negative reciprocal. In fact, if you check it out, the answer which you are going to get will be square root of x square should be equal to what? Can you make a guess from here now? Square root is always positive. Do you see that? Whether you put in x as negative, 0 or positive number. So, what you get actually is not x. You get absolute value of x. That is what it is. So, square root of x square is absolute value of x. Now, this is very important for you to know and you'll soon realize when we do number of problems in calculus and advanced functions, it will be very handy for you. Square root of x square is actually absolute value of x since square root always returns you a positive value even if you put a negative value for x. Do you understand? That is why square root of x square is not this. So, explain if the following statement is true or false. What do you say? Square root of x square equals to x is true or false? Well, the answer is false. Do you see that? And the reason is that it is actually equals to 
absolute x not just x i hope this point is well taken and you appreciate it thank you